Today I'm going to go through how the treadmill could be my saving grace this season after years of struggling through winter run training. I'm going to go over five key benefits I found of using the treadmill throughout winter and how I hope it's going to transform my 2024 season. That's a terrible sound. Week five, day five. Here we go. Let's get at it. I feel as though after six years worth of triathlon training, I've managed to get on top of the swim and the bike, not the run at all. I mean, I've definitely improved, but there's so much more to be had. One of my biggest obstacles that I found with run training specifically is the fact that I work on one of my key run session days. So I, I'm sure you can relate to this yourself, but if you've got work and it's cold, it's wet, it's miserable, it's in the midst of winter, pitch black before and after work, it's not motivating to go out running. The thing is, if I can't break through this like key session, the key day for my run sessions, and you could say, yeah, change the day, but to be honest, it doesn't really work in my overall program. So I prefer in the past to sacrifice that day in order to be able to get the rest of the week out. Okay, so I'm done. Now for the dreaded run. This is my trick for getting the run done, by the way. Not running in the best, but running on the treadmill. Not in hate running on a Friday when I've got work because I just don't seem to be able to do it successfully without running on the treadmill. So this is the one way that I've managed to kind of get over that angst, get over that kind of like motivation to actually do a bit of a run session. So give you a bit of an insight to that. So it's pretty grim. I uh, don't overly like running on the treadmill because it feels like you're sprinting the whole time. But to be honest, I've got to the point now where my swim and my bike is in a good place. And if I don't address this situation, if I don't address this problem, then I'm never gonna make the podiums that I want to. I'm never gonna qualify for the events that I need to. So then came the treadmill. And this is what I've implemented this season to try and get over that hurdle, get over that mental toughness of trying to get out and about in the midst of winter. But yeah, an hour in the pool done just strength work, getting through it, coast because uh, yesterday was pretty tough and my arms are falling off. Foolishly just left my little camera, not my phone, in the pool changing room so I tried to run to get that back. This is a pretty stressful day because I have to rush out of the pool, get on the treadmill and uh, then straight into work teaching. So not ideal but got to get it done somehow. Now the five key benefits that I see of the treadmill are as follows. It's out of the weather, of the, weather. the cold, the bitterness, the rain, it's, it's weatherproof. So whatever condition that you think is going to be going on outside, it's consistent inside. And that for me is really important. It reduces that whole like mental toughness of having to be outside when you don't really want to be. It's time efficient. Like literally, I get out the pool, I go straight to the treadmill, it's nice and easy to get on, and you just hit go and you're sorted. Like in, out, shower, and then you're done. This all helps with consistency. If you're consistent and you're more consistent with putting out hard efforts, the better you're gonna be in the long run. Not only that, you can customize whether the incline is higher or lower, you can play around with cadence, you can really, really watch yourself in the mirror and just make sure that you're doing exactly the right thing. You can really concentrate on putting out the effort without having to concentrate on actually going forward or holding yourself up. You can watch your technique in the mirror and it's great. Safety is the last point because in the middle of winter, there could be rubbish absolutely everywhere. It could be icy, it could be wet, slippery, leaves all over the floor. The treadmill has none of that. So you don't have to deal with all of these kind of unnecessary worries when you're out and about running. Swim and run done. 
It is good to do a run session on the treadmill, especially in the winter. One, because the weather's pretty atrocious, not today, but in general, which is pretty demotivating in like, I find it at least. So I find that like just jumping on the treadmill is basically like erg mode on the bike. And I was a bit of a king of erg last year. I just didn't come off the uh, turbo trainer and it was always on erg. So yeah, I'm quite enjoying the treadmill at the moment. You can keep a high cadence and also it's easy just to roll out of the swim straight onto the treadmill because the gym is here already up at Met. Yeah, I think it's uh, it's going to be a good asset whilst I'm still working. So now I'm going to rush to work and uh, teach some architecture. They've got their final reviews today. So yeah, uh, hopefully I can just help out as much as I can and send them on their way for basically the Christmas holidays. One more week of work next week and then um, it'll be a bit of like festivities, but also just training into the new year. So yeah, stay tuned. The thing is with work is the building is pretty mega to be quite honest. Winter is just a season, it's not an excuse. There are workarounds, but it, unfortunately it's just taken me far too long to actually get to it. I've been doing really well over the past few years and I have managed to really improve my running so, so much. But this is just that next step, the extra bit of finesse pre-Christmas and even in the first couple of months of the 2024 season that I'm gonna be able to do far more quality work as well as the volume, of course. But I'm just gonna be on top of it so that when it comes round to racing, I'm ready and I'm gonna be a lot better. For my man. Jam advent calendar with gifts. Oh, wow. That's actually really nice. Seasonal cookbook. Got a bag. Oh, what's this? This is the most excessive oh, advent calendar ever. I think. Is, a, I ever. think is that a spoon? I think it's a jam spoon. I'm actually quite excited about that because I have jam <laughs> every single morning. That is epic. <laughs> that is the cutest little spoon. Oh my gosh, and it even is engraved. Uh, that's not gonna.